Question 18. Simultaneous equations, everyone's favourite topic. So, you've got 4x plus 7y equals 1. 3x plus 10y equals 15. They're both standard linear expressions, so what we need to do is we need to match up the same number of either x's or y's. So if I'm just going to call that number 1 and that equation 2, you could match up the x's. Find out the lowest common multiple of 4 and 3. Well, 4 and 3 both go into 12, so you'd match them up 12x. 12x. That way you can get rid of the x's. Uh, the other one, you could match up the y's if you want to. What number does 7 and 10 both go into? Well, it's 70, so you'd end up with 70 y's. Uh, just because the numbers are going to be smaller, I am going to match up the x's. I always find more smaller numbers easier to do. So, uh, what did I say? 4 and 3 both go into 12. So, if the, this is number 1. I'm going to do number 1. I'm going to multiply it to get 12x. I'm going to multiply it by 3. So 4x times 3 is our 12x, which is what we wanted. 7x, 7y sorry, times 3 is 21y equals, and here's the mistake that a lot of people make, they'll just put a 1, but no, you've got to multiply that by 3 as well, so that equals 3. Then I'll call that equation 3. Uh, number 2, to get 12x there, I'm going to take 3x and I'm going to times it by 4. So 3x times 4 is 12x. 10y multiplied by 4 is 40y, and 15 multiplied by 4 is 60, and that's equation 4. So now I've matched up the same amount of x's, all I need to do is eliminate them. And usually to eliminate them, you're either going to subtract one from the other, or add them both together. Now if I add equation 3 to equation 4, you can see that I'll end up with 24x, so that's not going to get rid of it. I've got to subtract one from the other. Now it doesn't actually matter which one you subtract from the other one, but what I usually do is take the one with the big, the, the most amount of y's, or whatever letter is left, and subtract the one with the fewer y's. So I'm going to do the 40y take away 21y, which means I'm going to do number 4 take away number 3. So number 4, always write down what I'm doing, take away number 3. So 12x take away 12x is nothing. That's gone. 40y take away 21y is 19y. And 16 take away 3, sorry, 60 take away 3 is 57. So if 19y is a 57, this might throw a lot of people. They might think, oh, 19, I don't know my 19 tables, 19 times tables, but uh, 19 does actually go into 57 three times. So 19y divided by 19 is y. How many 19s in 57? 3. So y equals 3. So we've got one bit. Now to find out x, what we need to do is use substitution. We're gonna, we, because we know that y is 3, we can put that into one of these. I usually, again, use the one with the smaller numbers, so I'm going to use equation 1. I'll write substitute y equals 3 into equation 1. So it was 4x plus 7y equals 1. But because we know that y is 3, 7 times 3 is 21. So 4x plus 21 is equal to 1. Now we've just got a, an easy equation to solve. Take away the 21 from both sides. You end up with 4x equals 1, take away 21 is minus 20, so x is equal to minus 20 divided by 4, which is minus 5. So minus 5 and 3.